What's going on, Swamp Squad? It's Swamp Life Reptiles, and we are here. We're back with another video, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make brackish water for your Diamondback Terrapins. Grab those headphones, and I hope you're ready to listen, guys. See you in a minute. All right, so like I said, today we're gonna to be making brackish water for our Diamondback Terrapins enclosures. All right, so let's go ahead and get started, guys. First things first, I'm gonna show you guys how to make it in small quantities. This is estimated around five gallons. And then I'm gonna show you how I make the brackish water for my current enclosures that are a bit larger. So first thing you wanna do is start off with regular fresh water. This is water that's coming from my tap gonna go ahead and shut that off okay and we're gonna go ahead test the water then add our salt there's a couple tricks I've learned over the years that I hope you guys will uh, enjoy all right let's talk about some of the things that we're gonna need today we're gonna need pool softener salt I haven't yet used instant ocean but I used the uh, salt crystals not the salt pellet version you want to make sure it's at least 99.4 percent salt Okay, you're gonna need a measuring cup. You're gonna need a hydrometer. And then you're pretty much good to go. When you get started though, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is check the water before you get started. So, all right, looking at the water, we're under 1.004. Now brackish water is anything from 1.005, I believe, don't quote me on up to 1.019. At 1.020, it becomes uh, marine or you know full on salt water. I like to keep mine around 1.010 or 1.012. Uh, so I just say 10 or 12. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So the most popular question I get is, well, how much salt do I add to it? Well, here's the thing. You wanna add about a cup and a half per five gallons of salt to get started. That'll get us around 1.008 salinity, and that's for every five gallons. So one and a half cups to every five gallons. So the bucket that I have down here is about a five gallon bucket, and we're gonna make a small portion just to show you how to do it in case you add bucket by bucket. Now, some of my enclosures are already put together, and I honestly, I just add the salt to it already. Uh, and it dissolves pretty quick. One thing I noticed about this brand of salt, the chunks are a lot bigger than the normal salt I use, okay? Um, I normally get my salt from Tractor Supply, but they were out, so I had to get this from Home Depot. Same stuff, might take a little bit longer to dissolve, but here's my cup. I'm just gonna pour it in. All right, and then, I'm gonna get another half cup. Right. We'll call this a half cup, might be a little more. It's all right. Now, it could be as simple as this, but I found that the water dissolves much better, or the salt dissolves much better, rather, when the water is moving. moving. So I like to put a little filter in there just to get the water moving, uh, and it helps to circulate and dissolve the water. So I'm gonna grab a little filter, a little pump, rather, drop it in there to help it circulate and uh, then we'll see what it looks like in a couple minutes all right so I got this whisper filter running uh, well pump really there's no filter media in it and I just have it so that the water is circulating to help the salt dissolve quicker um, I've never used uh, these really large uh, salt crystals so we'll see how long it takes uh, but while we're waiting uh, why don't we go ahead and see what I did this weekend? So a lot of people laugh when I say that I set up um, my turtles differently for winter because I'm in Florida, okay? I am in North Florida. It does get colder here, okay? We don't have snow or anything. Um, but for my ornate Diamondback Terrapins, I prefer to keep them 
uh, warm, okay? And so it's starting to get cooler. And so I needed to take this time to go ahead and move them inside before I get super busy. So let's go ahead and take a look at the enclosures that I've set up inside of my garage for my ornate diamondback terrapin. All right, so this is the tub that was outside, uh, except I have now put all of my sub-adult and all adult ornate diamondbacks uh, in here. So currently there is a 2.2 group. I have bumpers, uh, there's Casper, down there is Ruby, and then Yoda is somewhere swimming around in here as well. I have them set up in a simple stock tank with a canister filter, uh, with a mercury vapor bulb and a basking area. It's not perfect guys. Um, there will be a heater once it starts getting cool, uh, but I needed to get them set up indoors um, to make sure that they stay at the temperatures that I want them at. All right, also it'll allow for me to regulate the uh, salinity in their water a whole lot better since they're inside now. All right, let's go ahead and look at how I got Mango, the mangrove diamondback terrapin. Uh, I got, I moved her medium waterland tub inside. She has her nesting area over here. You can see her. Oh, yeah, you can't hide, sorry. Yep, that's Mango, the mangrove diamondback terrapin. And then that is uh, Bowser, my oldest ornate diamondback terrapin. Um, since I don't have a male mangrove to pair with her, uh, I am pairing her with my oldest ornate diamondback terrapin. And uh, they'll spend the winter in here. I already have the heater in there. Uh, mangroves require it to be warm year round. And so I wanted to make sure that she had everything she needed. She got a driftwood. Uh, eventually a lot more sand will be on the bottom in case she wants to bury in the mud. Uh, another canister filter set up. And it also allowed me to do more regular water changes being in my garage. So, yeah. Let's look at some turtles. What's up, buddy? All right, another little trick that I've learned is stir the salt. So I have this PVC pipe and I'm just gonna stir the salt down there. All right, you don't wanna test the water until all the salt is dissolved, all right? It's a pretty easy process. You're just waiting for the salt to dissolve. Now. This tank is currently fresh water and I need to add salt to that. So I'm gonna add some salt in there. And then I need to add salt over there where we just saw mango. Um, and I don't really wait for that to dissolve. I just really just throw the salt in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that while we're waiting. So I've measured out about eight cups. It looks a lot more. And I mean, it really could be because uh, of the salt chunks are so much bigger. Um, so eight cups is good for about 40 gallons worth of water. This is a medium water land which holds 65 gallons. Uh, so I'm just gonna start off with eight cups of salt. Um, after it's all dissolved, we'll check it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add the salt. So I have added the salt in there. As you can see, we'll come back and take a look once it is all dissolved. I just really just pour it all over it. Once I have theirs at the salinity that I want, then I'll feed them. I haven't fed them uh, in two days because I'm waiting to get their tank where I want it without any um, waste from food and stuff. All right. Let's go ahead and do it to the other tank now. All right, we got the salt in the pitcher. This is a hundred gallon tub if it was completely full, um, but it's not. So um, we're just gonna fill this gallon pitcher up. 
I don't really measure it, uh, honestly, for this tub. Some over here. Some over there. Come back over here. Yeah. Same thing. I'm gonna let it dissolve so we can see what the salinity level is. Salt is in. In a minute, we're gonna go back and take a look at uh, our um, brackish water bucket. Look at the bumpers. So we're back, checking on the bucket. As you can see, it has dissolved, not completely yet, so I can't check it. It probably would work better if I would have um, crushed those huge things, uh, crystals rather. Um, but we're still over here, still got the pump going, still mixing it and still trying to get brackish water for our terrapins. I'll see you guys in a few when this is done. Guys, water displacement is a mug. I forgot that I had a hole in this stock tank with this Uniseal, uh, cause you know, this is an outside tub typically. So I needed something where the water drains. And so when I added the salt, water came pouring out. So now I'm over here uh, trying to clean some of it up. Fun times here at Swamp Life Reptiles. Look at these beautiful turtles though. Ooh, look, there's Yoda. So I checked the salinity and it is extremely high in this bucket, um, probably because of those big old chunks of salt. So let's go ahead and check the actual in the tank salinity so far. Okay, not bad, 1.010. Perfecto. Let's go over here and check this. All right, 1.014, which is fine. Still on um, brackish, but they are fine. See, swimming around great. Gotta admit, pretty content. I probably won't buy the super chunk salt anymore. But uh, overall, I'm content. All right, guys, so one thing I definitely learned in this video was do not get the huge size uh, chunk salt. Uh, it definitely raises the salinity even higher, obviously more salt. Um, I'll put the links to the salt that I prefer to use uh, down in the video. Uh, I hope this video was informative. Uh, let me tell you this, if your salinity was lower than what you would like, none of mine were, thankfully, um, then all you have to do is add salt. And once you get that base amount, you just wanna add little bits of salt, little bits of salt, all right, to raise it. I typically uh, add about a cup at a time. The great thing with Diamondback Terrapins is they can handle pretty high salinity. Um, my man grows, my man Grove, uh, specifically prefers it a lot saltier. So her water being saltier is not a problem. Uh, overall, uh, I hope you guys saw how easy it is to make salt. Uh, well, brackish water, I'm sorry, not salt water. How easy it is to make brackish water. And I hope you guys consider changing all of your Diamondback Terrapins to brackish water. All right guys, until next time, 
Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Swamp Squad, I'll see you later. This has been Swamp Live Reptiles making brackish water. Peace out.